Yeah. No? So now we will solve this question where we have been given that uh, two identical rollers of uh, each wing 500 newton are supported by an inclined plane and a vertical roll as shown in the figure. So you can see the figure where we have been given the two rollers and each of them weighs a 500 newton. So assuming two surfaces, which means that there will be no friction, find the reaction at the point of uh, support A, B, and C. So we have to find the supports A, B, and C. So let us call them R, A, R, B, and R, C. And uh, try to solve this question. So firstly, you need to draw the FBD of both of these rollers. So let us uh, first draw the uh, FBD for the second roller. So we have this as our roller. And uh, we have a 500 Newton force coming in the down vertical downward direction. We have also the reaction force at A. Let us call it RA. And we also have a, like, a reaction force uh, coming from the second roller, which will be acting like this. Also, the reaction force is always like, it will not work, pull a surface, like the reaction force cannot be away from the surface. Reaction force always will be towards the surface. So, towards the center, like the, towards the body. So, if you like uh, observe our FBT, we have been like uh, giving the reaction forces as towards the center of the body or the towards the center of the roller. So whenever you give the reaction forces, you have to give it uh, towards the body and not away from the body. So this is the FBD for our solar plate. Let us call this a uh, reaction at point B. So this is the FBD of our uh, first body. So let us uh, try to find the angles between uh, like every fo two forces because uh, if, you, if you can see this uh, it is nothing but the, the application of Lamis theorem here, where three forces, wherever three forces are in equilibrium, then you can apply Lamis theorem there. So this is nothing but an application of Lamis theorem only. So we will try to find the angles uh, between all of the forces to apply Lamis theorem and find out the value of R and R T. So let us see how we can solve this. We have a 30 degree angle here. And the B. Let us uh, just draw the horizontal and vertical here. We can say that this will be 60. Similarly, this is a 90 degree, uh, like the RA is nothing but uh, acting 90 degree to this uh, surface. So, we can say that uh, this is 90 degree. So, see. Also, we have uh, like the uh, angle between RD and RA should be 90. Yes, so, this angle should be 90. Uh, so, RA and RD angle between them is 90. Because uh, if you see in the diagram, we have RD such as this and RA such as this. Uh, like the, the acting of the forces are in perpendicular direction. So, you can just say that uh, the angle between RA and RD is uh, 90. And we have this angle as a uh, 30. So, the angle, this angle will also become 30 because this is nothing but like the opposite angle. Also, you can calculate this 30 and this should be 60. So, and uh, the angle, uh, so this is, let us say, this is theta. So, theta plus 60 should be 90. So, that also makes theta as 30. So, this is 90. So, 90 plus theta will become 90 plus 30, which is 120. So, angle between RA and the 500 Newton force will become 120. Also, we have this angle as uh, 90. And, uh, like uh, this is uh, to this total angle is 90 this is 60 so this will become 30 and this will become 60 so 90 plus 60 will become the angle between ra and 500 force so this should be rd yeah so ra and 500 force this should be 150 because 90 plus 60 so let us just make it a little more clear here we have this angle as a 90 this angle is 30 so if we just extend it here here this angle is 60 this has uh, 30, so this again will be 60 because this total angle is 90. So this is how you can find your angle. You just have to find the angles between every like two forces because the application of Lamis theorem demands that uh, you know the forces between acting two forces. So this force should be something like this and this here. Yeah. You have IB and this angle is calculated as 90. This angle is calculated as 150 and this is 180. So, apply, applying Lamis theorem here, you have uh, Rd divided by sine 150 is equal to Ra divided by sine 120 is equal to 500 divided by sine 90. So, you can just uh, calculate Rd and Ra here. 
this should be a yeah this is r d this is r d yeah and uh, r d will become sine of 1 to d divided by sine of 90 into 500 so if you calculate uh, the value of uh, d here uh, you can just uh, calculate it using sine of 150 is nothing but sine 90 plus 60 and sine 90 plus theta is cos theta so it should be cos uh, 60 divided by sine 90 into 500 which is 250 because cos 60 is 1 by you have uh, ra okay. also ra uh, you have as a uh, sine of 120 which is a cos of 30 into 500 divided by sine 90 sine 90 is 1 so this should be 1 this again should be 1 and cos 30 and is root root 3 by 2 so if you calculate this uh, it will come out to be 433 newton so this is ra uh, which uh, is asked in the question so i will just write it here that ra has been calculated as 433 newton we have uh, the value of rd as 250 so we will apply this value here in the uh, let us draw the fbd for the first uh, first uh, roller now so we have uh, the first roller as uh, 500 force acting in the downward direction this is again the force uh, reaction at b we have a horizontal force because of the wall so let us call this a reaction at c we have an force uh, acting perpendicular to rv which will be our 250 newton force uh, which we call as uh, rd so again it will be acting uh, compressively like it will not be acting away from the body it will be acting towards the body because it is a reaction all of the reactions uh, are acting towards the body as you can see in the fb you have this angle as a 90 and uh, again you can uh, like calculate the angles between forces let us just draw this is a vertical this is a horizontal so whenever you have force system like the system the system is consisting of four forces you cannot uh, use Lavis theorem here you need to like resolve the forces of 250 and rv in the direction of horizontal and vertical and then apply the equilibrium condition here which you can do here also in the Lavis theorem uh, condition because but it just becomes easy for us to calculate using Lambert's theorem if when a system of three forces are given but here is a system of four forces so we will just resolve the forces instead of calculating using Lambert's theorem so this angle should be 30 degree and uh, similarly this will also become 30 and if this is 30 then this will become 60 because the total angle is 90 there so we have uh, in the summation of horizontal forces as RC let us, let us uh, say that this uh, like right side is positive and left side is negative upward side is positive and downward side is negative this is should be our sign convention so we have rc in the horizontal direction minus 250 cos 30 minus rv cos 60 we also have summation of vertical forces as 0 is equal to 0 because it is in equilibrium we have summation of vertical forces as a 0 which means that uh, 500 minus rv sin 60 should be so rv comes out to be 500 divided by sin 60 so if you if you calculate this uh, comes out to be There should be another like force here, which uh, is this uh, 250 uh, sin 30 force, but is it is acting downward, so it should be positive. So plus uh, 250 sin 30. Yeah. So this makes it a uh, 625 divided by sin 60. And uh, if you calculate this, uh, you get something as a uh, 721.68 as your RV. And uh, if you can put it, uh, like if you can put it RB, you can just put your value in this uh, upward horizontal force equation and you can calculate the value of RC from there. You have RC minus 250 cos uh, 30 minus 721.68 into cos 60 is equal to 0. And RC becomes 250 cos 30 plus 721.68 into cos 60 which equals which becomes 577 
0.35 Newton. So we have calculated RC, RB and RA here, which is asked in the question. So whenever you have been given questions such as this, you need to first make the ability of the individual bodies. And uh, if the force system is consisting of the process, you use the Lamy's theorem to calculate the reactions. And if the force system is consisting, uh, consisting of more than three forces or lesser than three, you can just uh, like uh, use resolution of forces in those horizontal and vertical direction and then apply the condition for equilibrium. You will get the uh, reaction forces. Thank you.